They say never say never. I say never tell me what to do. A person will never put you in a position above them. That's never a lie. Always true. Success never comes without risk and risk never comes without fear. YouTube is a smoking mirror. Never how it appear. Hey, just a real quick video right here. I'm about to take the starter off my Reaper trailer because when I came back to it the other day, I had a load on here and it, it had cut off. It had like an alarm code 17. It was on start stop, so I think it got to do with the back, with the starter. I'm not 100% sure, but just what I like to do when I first start working on it, I always take the positive cable off the battery. The starter, real simple. You got this wire here that's hooked up to the solenoid right here, and you got a little plug-in on the solenoid. You disconnect this power wire, disconnect this wire for the solenoid, you got two bolts. You got a bolt right, right there. That bolt right there, I already loosened them up. I decided to make a video. And then you got a bolt oh, down at the bottom, that bolt's right there. Make sure y'all can see that bolt should be loose too those 17 millimeter bolts why why they 17 millimeter bolts i don't know that bolt right there is a half inch and this battery bolt is a 916 so basically that's all you need to take the starter off move them two bolts it come right out and well mine connected to some little bracket right here that whatever but real simple, so I'm going to take it off and I'm going to have a starter test it. And that's going to let me know whether or not I need to replace the starter. They usually only last about a year or two. I don't remember when I put this one on here, but we're going to see what happens. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to price an alternator too while I'm there and see how much the alternator is. And if it's not too much, I might just grab the alternator and keep it with me. And I'm going to get this belt number because I'll just grab a belt and keep it with me too in case I need to change it out on the road or something. Ooh, it don't, it don't look that easy to change though. Hmm. I didn't know, I didn't see all that. I didn't see that pulley that is running to up in there. I didn't see all that. I don't know about changing the alternator built. Mm, it's a good one. All right, so I'll keep y'all posted on whether or not this starter was uh, any good. This is the starter. This is the start of solenoid. A lot of times that what happens is you get power to the solenoid and the solenoid powers the starter. A lot of times the solenoid go bad or the bendix and the starter go bad and you get a bad spot and get caught there and it won't start. So we'll see. All right. So I ended up not getting a new starter. Apparently these ground screws right here had came loose for some reason. And when he put it on the bench to test it, he seen it was arcing there. Tighten these ground screws up and everything was good. Now, I didn't know nothing about these ground screws, so there's no way I knew to even check that. But I guess that's a lesson learned. I just kind of feel like if I would have took it somewhere else, they just would have gave me a new starter. This right here, anybody who know me know I love wrapping something in garden hose. This little line was kind of laying on this one. And although it's protected, I still use the garden hose. Then I had to zip tie this up. This little bracket, the old starter, this bracket attached to, can't really see, that screw. Uh, I guess that ain't a good picture. Uh, I guess that ain't a good picture, but yeah, you can't see it. But anyway, it's a screw that go through the starter and that bracket attached to it and kind of sat up there neat. For some reason, it's not in the same spot. So that's down too low. Going to be in the way of the, it's going to be in the way of the oil filter if I bring it down there. So I tried to bring it up some. So when I change the oil, I can get to the filter. So that about do it. I even put some on my battery cable. Because for some reason where the battery sit, that cable kind of laying right on the battery. Mm, I don't like that too much. Especially a whole bunch of moving. But I made sure it was tight. So if I have any problems, I'm going to start there. So get this button up and move inside the cab and change out that switch. And Everything should be good to go. I'm going to fire it up. Make sure it's going to fire up, of course. All right.
Been through a lot of pain in my life, and I pray the Lord take it all away.